Hello everyone, so now it's time for week number four of Salamander Public uh, County Public Television. <laughs> so let's press start and let's. At Ember, it's time for our new meeting with the Rambocule Corporation representative. Cool, I'm good to go. Just waiting in the parking lot of their headquarters, ready to deliver the mouse to them. I'll miss that mouse, but I suppose the trade is worth it, as long as it gets us one step closer to bringing everyone back to Salamander County and restoring our ratings. Rambicule Rep is now online. Hello, my name is Susan, I'm a representative of Rambicule Corporation. Do you have the mouse? Yes. Great. Please send the mouse to Rambicule Corporation headquarters as soon as possible. Will do. I'll have Ember deliver the mouse now. She's already at the headquarters, so it should be quick. Add Ember deliver the mouse now. On it. Thank you, Ember. An employee should be waiting in the front office to acquire the mouse. The mouse is delivered. Great, thank you. Goodbye. Wait, aren't you going to tell us what happened to everyone in Salamander County? And give me my burger? No. What? Aren't you going to help us? That's part of the deal. No. So you lied to us about the deal? Yes. Oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Rambicule Rep is now offline. Wait, what happened? They took the mouse and didn't tell us what happened to everyone. And even worse, they didn't give me my burger. Wow, that was a really scummy move from them. It really was. I'm fed up with all this. I'm going to go to the nearest antiques store that's open to relieve some stress. Oh, that's cool. I like sifting through old vinyl records and videotapes and finding really oddball things. I like looking at the grandfather clocks and pretending that I'm a tiny person jumping over the minute in our hands. That's pretty weird. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember this one. Let's try and, um, I was only five seconds away from getting uh, the bonus there, so let's try that again. Because I really want to get the. Uh, I, w I really, w really want to get silver at least on every level. I think I've done that so far, anyway. I think this is what a case of where like you can just have bad luck on your side the entire time. Like, say if these um, decided to like buff move in such a way that I wouldn't be able to avoid, like, uh, falling or something. I think that could possibly happen. Like, yeah, so I was just thinking that if they w were to go back on me when I was, like, jump in the middle of jumping there, they could just push me. Okay, at least- oh man, I'm so close for to 45 seconds there, but I'll move on. Cause I, don't Cause I will get that lucky again, I think, so let's just try again. I'm so annoyed about us getting scammed by Rambicule Corporation yesterday. Now we're back to square one on figuring out why everyone is missing. Yo, take a look at this email I just got. Subject, screw you guys. Dear SCP TV, your inability to pay even $10 for our software baffles us. However, even more baffling is the length of the legs of the mouse you gave us yesterday. As soon as we heard about that mouse, we knew we had to have it for our research. It's not often you see a mouse with legs that long. As a result, we lied to you about a deal that didn't require paying $10 so that we could get the mouse. The $10 is still non-negotiable. You did not. I think the end of the email got cut off in that screenshot. Oops, sorry. Pay for our software for 40 years. Giving us $10 was the least you could have done for us. Unless you are able to give us that money, have fun being unemployed in August. Thanks, Rambicule Corporation. I can't believe a multi-trillion dollar corporation would lie to us like that. I'm so upset. Well, seems like we have two options. 
We could either figure out some way of giving Rambacule Corporation $10, or figure out some way of figuring out why everyone's gone without figuring out how to give them $10. Oh. The first option seems easier, so why don't we try explaining the whole situation to Rich Richardson? Surely he would understand and authorize us to purchase the software. But what if he just shoots me down again, like he did last time? It can't hurt to try. Believe me, it can. I was talking with him in his office once, and a piggy bank fell off a shelf and hit me on the head. That hurt a lot. Dude, it's been nearly two weeks since Rich has even been in the WAC server, surely it's worth asking him again. He's a busy man. He does all of his yacht maintenance work himself, so I've heard. He also runs a dozen TV channels, so he can't be in our WAC server all the time. But I don't want to talk to Rich today. I'm still too set and angry about the whole situation. Rambacule Corporation will pay for not giving me the burger they promised me. I mean technically we should pay them for that. About $10, specifically. Shut up, that's beans. That's beans. I'm sorry, what? It's an expression I heard some years ago. You should look it up sometime. Player, have you ever heard of that expression before? Oh. Well, if they haven't, I'll give them a quick lesson. Now this is a classic uh, mini game for this sort of game. That's beans. 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 All right, just wait. Did I just end? Like as soon as I got to gold there, or did the timer run down? That was really quick. Um, okay, I was just enjoying those beans. Um, so that's just a quick, uh, a pretty quick one there because um, yeah, I remember that's beans. Uh, it's it's hard to talk during it though because you got to focus on the actual lettering of the words sometimes on it. So rather easy. But you have to concentrate for it to be easy. So yeah, that's beans. So you're going to talk to Rich today about everything, right, Jeffrey? Do I have to? Unless you can find out where everyone is yourself, yes. Mouse is now online. Surprised face. <laughs> Good day, Jeffrey. Mouse, you're back. And you can chat now. Why yes, he certainly can! He went online to inform you all about various pieces of information regarding both myself and Rambicule Corporation. To begin with, he originally joined your whatsoever after he heard about the film you made about me, as I wanted to thank you for making it. However, he soon realized that while I was very familiar with mice, I didn't know how to say a keyboard, so he decided to just look. When Susan saw that I was in your WAC server and learned about my unusual Elon leaks, she devised a plan to kidnap me to be used for experimentation. You see, the vast majority of employees at Rambicule Corporation are in humans. They are actually an advanced alien species known as Rambiculis. Oh. Rambiculis look exactly like humans, but they can grow and shrink at will. There is one limitation, though. They can't grow their legs longer than about three feet. 
I don't believe any of this. It's way too SUS. SUS. How can you use a computer if you're a mouse? Well, I was say smart enough to be accepted to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He's a big computer literacy there for a bit, but he dropped out before he got to the keyboard lessons. However, I was exposed to the ABC and teachers typing in one of the rambiculous experiments yesterday, so now we know how to type. I'm still not convinced. Here is a picture of my Rambicool Corporation employee they can for further proof. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. When I first found out that you were giving me to Rambicool Corporation, I was really excited. He thought it would be oh, I accidentally pressed this. I turned into a love mouse. I've had enough of the experiments that Rambicool is are performing on me, so I'm planning on escaping soon. You all are in a conflict with them, so I'm willing to collect any intelligence from them that you all might be interested in while I'm still there. Wow. That's a lot to take in. Apparently, Rambacule Corporation knows what happened to everyone from Salamander County, but they refuse to give the information to us until we give them $10. However, for business-related reasons, we aren't able to give them that money. Do you think you could try to find out the reason for us? If we don't get everybody back by the end of the month, our TV station will be shut down due to low ratings. I'll gladly try to find out that information. Thank you, Mouse. I'll have my friend the guy who we feel about too. He was also a part of Project Long Legs. The Rambicules tried to make his legs longer, but he accidentally made another fur body part of his longer instead. Penguin. Oh, okay. Didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> this is like, uh, uh, is this like a WarioWare sort of? No, wait, it's a bit too long to be a WarioWare sort of level. Like all, all of the levels at the start were very WarioWare levels, but these ones are like a lot longer, so they don't feel like WarioWare levels. I, I can use electricity, by the way, but I don't really like to use the electricity. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to use it basically, but that's fine. I can just uh, move on from here. Oh, rubber duckies on that keyboard. What? Tell us. Rambicule Corporation kidnapped everyone because you guys weren't paying for their software. They seem to be holding everyone as ransom. That's ridiculous. How could they possibly kidnap so many people? With a giant vacuum, apparently. What? You know what? Sure. I'll believe anything at this point. Why didn't Rambicule Corporation just tell us they kidnapped everyone in order to get the $10? The argument for getting rich to pay them the money would have been much more persuasive. Kidnapping people with a vacuum is a violation of intergalactic law, so if Rambicule Corporation told you, they were worried you would report them to the intergalactic police. I didn't even know there was such a thing as intergalactic police. Indeed, there is. Well, I'm going to escape from Rambicule Corporation now. Do you mind picking me up and giving me a ride home, Jeffrey? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Meet me at the headquarters in 20 minutes. See you then. Mouse is now offline. Okay, let me get this straight from what we've learned the past two days. Rambicule Corporation is ran by aliens, the mouse can chat online, and everyone is missing because they were sucked up with a giant vacuum and are being held for a ransom of only $10. If this was a fictional story, it would be criticized for being too random and unrealistic. 
Well, I'm off to pick <laughs> up the mouse from the Rambacule Corporation headquarters. Oh, wait, I totally forgot. My car has a flat tire. I found some mushrooms in the company fridge, I wonder- No. Mushrooms are not wheels. Are you sure about that? This is probably... Uh, this is a pretty fun one, to be honest. Eventually there's going to be speed bumps in the middle of the road. It's too bad that you, uh, like, I know that the idea is that you're meant to go pretty slow here, but like, it would be cool to like, maybe have some sort of skill to like, keep the wheels in place, or keep the, keep the, uh, what they called in place. Um, ah, the mushrooms. So like, the, the way to keep them in place is you just gotta like, slow down every now and then. And like, yeah, slow down, back up, and whatever you need to do to like get them in place. It would actually be like if you had to like press left or right or something. Hey, like, does that even do anything? No, it didn't even do anything when I press left, left or right. I wonder what the bronze was. Uh, not the bronze. The the bonus was of this because I once again I forgot to look. I just forget to look sometimes. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so close to the 100 meters. There we go. I, can't, I, don't, I don't really care now. There we go. Alright, let's move on to the next day. What's this? Oh, like a judge. <laughs> Ember, you were wrong. Mushrooms are wheels. I got the mouse back to its home safe and sound. Also, we need to contact Rich and somehow get permission to give the Rambacules $10. I know it's not a good idea to pay a ransom, but it's the only option we have left. I barely know how to operate a regular vacuum, let alone the one the Rambacules apparently have, so there's no way I could unsuck the people myself even if I knew where it was. Every time I have to contact Rich, I get more and more scared. He's just so intimidating. Can you come? Alright. Oh. At Rich Richardson, your wealthy McQuell typants. Rich Richardson is now online. Who is this? It's Ember, from SCP TV. Huh. That's the nickname my parents gave me. How did you hear about it? Just a lucky guess. Anyhow, can I ask you a question? Sure, Ember. But it had better be quick. I'm about to- It's Ember. Also, you know how everyone in Salamander County is missing. Well, we found out why. Rambacule Corporation is being ran by some alien species, and they kidnapped everyone because we weren't paying for their software. They want us to pay $10 for the software, then hopefully they'll bring everyone back. $10. That's way too much money. Everyone can stay kidnapped forever. Rich, think about it. If everyone is brought back, they can watch our TV channel, which in turn earns us money. In the long term, we'll probably make a lot more than $10. You know, I've never thought about long-term profits before. <laughs> you make a good point, Imber. He'll let you buy the software for $10. Thank you so much. Also, it's Ember. Yeah, whatever. Rich Richardson is now offline. At Jeffrey I got Rich's approval, let's contact the Rambacules and give them their money. You're amazing, Ember. I'll contact them to schedule a meeting for tomorrow. But tomorrow's Saturday. You're right. We'll meet on Monday, then. Did you know that there's a rocket launch happening over in Worcestershire County today? I hear it's going to be gnarly. Let's film it, player. Oh. I think this is the hardest. Yeah, this is one of the harder ones. What do I do again? Yeah, this is the hardest. Uh, oof, this is this is. I remember this being really hard. <laughs> I got bronze.
Oh. This is like incredibly awkward to uh, control. No! Oh, I got silver. I got silver. That's fine. Alright, let's move on. Well, actually, let's not move on. We're on a new week, so let's uh, move on from that. And then see what the score at least six with one star. Seems pretty difficult. Self dis. I thought <laughs> exactly four. <laughs> Pick the word bean, which is not the word beans. I had a feeling that that might be the case. Survive 12 seconds while jumping. See, that's a complete random one. Like, you're not going to do that. Um, in terms of like the mini games this week, definitely a lot more fun than the previous week. Like, uh... like despite this one being pretty difficult, it's a lot more fun. God. Okay, I'm recording really late uh, this week, so I'm actually going to call it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. It's the final week on the next one, so there's only three days as well, actually, by the looks of it. So it'll be a shorter week. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.